When Walt Disney World opened in 1971, many of the experiences and attractions selected for Magic Kingdom were designed to capture the magic guests experienced in Disneyland. Most of the lands of the park were the same as those in California, and many of the attractions within those lands were inspired by, or even duplicated from, successful Disneyland attractions. With this blueprint in mind, Snow White's Adventures opened to guests on day one with an experience similar to the Disneyland attraction, but with one notable difference. It was a bit scarier than the already scary Disneyland version. Guests experienced the same first-person storytelling, thereby keeping Snow White herself out of the attraction. However, the Evil Queen did strike seven times throughout the ride. As for the seven dwarfs, they made a panicked appearance in only one scene. Like in Disneyland, this Snow White attraction scared the daylights out of little ones. In fact, ride signage even requested that smaller guests enter the ride vehicle first, perhaps to prevent them from running out of the vehicle's door when they got scared. Believe it or not, the attraction remained largely unchanged, scaring kids from around the world for over 20 years. In 1994, Disney Imagineers performed a major refurbishment on the attraction, lightening the tone significantly. The Evil Queen still made several appearances, but she was not as frightening as she was in the previous version. The dwarfs marched their way into several scenes, playing a heroic role in the story. Most significantly, Snow White herself appeared several times, as the first-person point of view was abandoned by Imagineers and replaced with a simple retelling of the story. While refurbishing the ride, Imagineers increased the capacity significantly by making each ride vehicle larger, seating up to six people instead of four. Perhaps the most curious change to the attraction was the addition of one word to the title. Snow White's adventures became known as Snow White's Scary Adventures. An attraction that was just made much less scary adopted the descriptor, scary, in the title. Regardless of the name change, the friendlier feel of the attraction delighted scores of children, and definitely reduced the amount of anxiety this Fantasyland ride caused over the previous two decades. Snow White's Scary Adventures enjoyed a run of close to 18 additional years until it closed in May 2012 as part of an ambitious makeover of Fantasyland. Imagineers transformed the space into Princess Fairy Tale Hall, a place where guests could meet a rotisserie lineup of princesses, including Snow White herself. Guests missing the presence of classic Snow White were rewarded in May 2014 with the opening of Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. The family-friendly coaster, built on the location of the former 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction, takes guests on a wild ride in and around the Dwarf's Gemstone Mine. The dwarf animatronics from Snow White's Scary Adventures were reused in impressive fashion for the new attraction, and Snow White fans fear not. Disney's first princess makes a brief appearance at the end of the attraction. And now let me share with you some home video footage of Snow White's Scary Adventures that I recorded in 1998 and 2011. The 1998 video was recorded in night video mode on my camcorder, as this ride was a pretty dark experience back in the day, so hopefully this version will show you a little more detail. I have got a home video recorded version of the original ride pre its 1994 refurbishment, but the quality isn't great and, like I said earlier, because the attraction was so dark, my old camcorder didn't really pick up much video details, and most of the time the screen is completely black.
Yeah, I'm never on a gate and then just go away. Do you know I've never watched it?